there are thousands of pets across our area that need forever homes. You know the plea in my voice, those of you who know me for years know how much I love my animals. And this week is Cat Week at the Humane Society of Vero Beach. And they're holding a special event and asking for foster parents. Janet Winnikoff, the Director of Education for the Humane Society of Vero Beach in Indian River County, is joining us to talk more about it. And it's so nice to have you here. There's Thanks such for a need me. for fosters and what it can do for these kitties. Tell us all about the week that you have going on at the shelter. Oh, so first off, we are doing an, an adoption week a big adoption event where we are waiving all of the adoption fees for our cats. So we're really excited about that because when you adopt from our shelter, you're not only saving a life, but you're getting a wonderful animal. You're getting an animal who's spayed or neutered, microchipped, vaccinated, dewormed. You get uh, some free pet food uh, and a free ID tag. You're so really set to go and start you your family, are aren't you? ready to roll. That's right. And also we're having free drawings for all kinds of pet supplies. So when people adopt uh, from the shelter they can uh, put in for the drawing and that's it's a hundred dollars worth of free oh, pet supplies that'll go a long so way so it's it's a way for us to encourage our community to to adopt and just to let everybody know because you know some people might be a little older or it doesn't matter they don't want to go through the kitty stage of climbing up the drapes and you know just the kitten stage of running through the house at 2 in the morning you have pets of all ages don't all you All ages all stages yeah so yeah we have kittens we also have older cats as well whichever is the best mix for a family or an individual we're rapidly running out of time. I could talk so long on this, but let's talk briefly about the fosters, where you're going next, and what everyone can do. So right now, you need fosters. They really yes. don't have to put much out to be a foster parent, do they? Well, they they do need to do some some training and, and time, sure. but it's very flexible. It's a very flexible schedule. But then you so provide them with everything. We will provide them with all the equipment, everything that they need, and the training. And this summer, we put out 130 kittens out in oh. foster care who are now going into loving and caring homes and who are being adopted this week. Well, so we do want to encourage people to come out. If you can't adopt, then please consider fostering. Uh, we would love to have you, and all people have to do is give us a call at 772-388-388. 3331. Well, I'm thankful to my foster parents of my two boys because they're wonderful kitties. And I know normally, first of all, real quick, these are some things that they can you can always use. You have Wishlist Wednesday with Amazon. Very simple if you, you can't foster and you can't adopt but want to help. That's right. These are uh, some of the pieces of equipment that we give to our foster volunteers. We have a heating pad. We have a little snuggly for the kittens. And we have a little beating heart over here. So what people can do is they can follow us on Facebook and then and uh, each Wednesday, something pops up called Wishlist Wednesday, and we say specifically what it is that we need, oh. and people can go ahead and, and uh, order it straight off of Amazon. It gets delivered to the shelter, and then we go ahead and we give it to our volunteers who are fostering. All you do is go on your Facebook page That's and correct. Click. Humane hey. Society of Vera Beach in Indian Thank River you. County, Perfect. easy enough. All right, we, you might wonder at home, gee, I wish I could see a kitty or two to adopt. Well, you don't have a kitty today because you're on to a really big rescue right now. We are. Um, our shelter has been working very closely in helping uh, the pet parents who are both in Puerto Rico and St. Mm. Croix. And so um, we have actually a staff member who has been deployed to St. Croix to help out with the animals there. But we are taking in 14 animals from St. Croix this and, afternoon. And they're so flying in. They're flying in. And yeah, so uh, immediately after this segment, then I'll be traveling down south to meet the, uh, the plane and our other staff members and volunteers. Thank you for all you do for our animals. We really appreciate it. Thank you Thanks. so much for having me on.